So we're fast running out of time, but uh, let me bring in Philly Hassan now live for us in uh, Nigeria. Phil, a very good morning to you. Phil, are you with us? Yeah, good morning to you. I can, I can hear you now. All right, Phil, give us the latest. What's happening on the ground? Okay, so uh, at the moment, what we know is that the Lagos State gov uh, Governor, Babajide Samulu, is uh, given his statement as regards the incident that occurred at the famous Lekki toll gate in Lagos State yesterday, uh, last night, actually. Uh, he's, so far, he said that there are no uh, records of um, lives lost, but there are several injured and currently receiving treatment. But uh, videos online, you know, shared uh, from the scene of the incident yesterday by uh, the protesters showed several of them killed, uh, others severely injured, uh, you know, as a result of um, shootings that they believe were from men dressed in military uniforms and they opened fire at the uh, protesters who were sitting peacefully at the Lekki toll gate. So they're saying that no fatalities have been reported as yet. Uh, we're hearing otherwise from uh, other organizations. Uh, what's the way forward here in terms of uh, where is the investigation with regards to what transpired yesterday? Sorry, you need to take that again. I didn't quite get you clearly. Just talk to us about what, what are you hearing from authorities as opposed to what are you hearing from other rights groups, etc., etc., with regards to fatalities. Um, where are we in terms of the investigation? Well, so far, um, the, the government has said they've um, issued an order to all the 36 states, uh, you know, and of course the federal capital territory to set up judicial panels to investigate uh, some of the alleged brutality by the defunct SARS unit and of course other uh, members of the police, you know, so uh, with, uh, you know, in view of providing justice for the victims and families of the victims. Some of the states have set that up, uh, including Lagos State, uh, you know, but at the moment we haven't, uh, the protesters have said that, you know, there is no particular policeman that has been prosecuted and shown, you know, to the public and they are insisting that until such pragmatic approaches are shown by the government, they do not trust the decision, uh, you know, by the government to end these uh, uh, police brutality and bring a total reform uh, to the police. I'm just going to borrow. For example, the Amnesty yes. International has also said that about they've recorded about um, 800 cases of brutality in the past three years. They've also said within the protest, uh, this period of the protest, about 15 have been killed, and so the brutality is even still ongoing. I'm just going to borrow some uh, more time from my colleagues uh, on On Point. I just want to get where we are with regards to this 24-hour curfews. This is being extended to other other cities. Sorry, you said something about the curfew. Can you take that again, please? Yeah, we do, do apologize to uh, the viewers as well. There's a huge delay uh, with regard to this line to Phil. But uh, Phil, I was just asking with regard to the, the 24-hour curfews. Uh, we, we know what, what's happening in, in Lagos. Has this been uh, extended to other, other cities as well? All right, so we do apologize for that. It seems that connection to Phil is not uh, 100%, so we will hold him over to uh, the next program. On Point will no doubt get you the very latest with regards to what's happening on the ground uh, in Nigeria. Also, reports of these demonstrations in Nigerian embassies in Kenya as well as Pretoria. No doubt we'll have much more on that uh, stories, those stories indeed. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. The news continues. I'll hand it over to the On Point team.